Hi, my name is Slav. I'm the youth pastor here at Brave. We're in a week of seeking God, and I want to share with you some thoughts on how to pray. Over Christmas break, we were able to see family, and one night we were sitting around the table about to start our dinner. It was taco night. That's my favorite night. I love tacos so much. That's the only dinner we served at my wedding. So, you can imagine, I wanted to eat that carne asada taco as soon as possible. And so, as I'm reaching out for my tortilla, my father-in-law stops me and says, Hey, aren't you, aren't you going to pray first? And so, I'm embarrassed, and I stop myself from, from grabbing the tortilla, and my father-in-law starts his prayer, Dear Lord. And the food smelled so good that I didn't close my eyes and I stared at this carne asada, drooling and imagining how it, would it how it would taste in my mouth. But little did I know that our five-year-old nephew was looking at me during the prayer. So as soon as I heard, amen, I quickly grabbed the tortilla, placed it on my plate. Then I heard a, hey, you didn't close your eyes, mister. It was my nephew who yelled this out and I was so embarrassed. And to think that I'm a pastor. So I yelled back, well, how did you know if my eyes were open if yours weren't? And my family laughed. But, but then I thought to myself, man, what is prayer all about? Is it just to say a few words to Jesus before we eat? Is that how my five-year-old nephew thinks about prayer? But before we jump into how to pray, we must first define prayer. What is prayer? Well, prayer, simply put, is just talking with God. Here's a great quote. Prayer is simply the medium through which we experience and connect to God. Let's stop and think about this. Prayer is a way to connect with God. The reason for prayer isn't just to pray, it's to connect with Him. This Friday, I'm going on a date with my wife and I'm so looking forward to it. And we will be having a conversation with one another. But the whole point of the date isn't just to have a conversation with one another, it's to experience one another. And even though prayer is something that is learned and practiced, the end goal is a relationship with God. The best way to start the practice of prayer is to remember three things. To keep prayer simple, real, and to keep it up. As long as you don't overcomplicate your prayer, you will have an authentic prayer. We tend to make things complicated. Remember, praying is just having a conversation with God. And as long as the prayer comes from the heart, you will be connecting to God's heart. Talk about your heart's deepest desires, worries, and stresses of life. I love this verse. Cast all your cares and anxieties upon Him, for He cares for you. And as long as you practice praying and make it a routine, your relationship with God will grow. Find a time that works best for you, whether that you connect with God in the morning, in the evening, or on a drive over to the grocery store. It's important to keep it up. And prayer is the heart behind following Jesus. And prayer is where you seek God and He comes near. Prayer is the foundation of your relationship with God. You are invited to come close to God. I love this verse found in Jeremiah 29, 13. And you will seek me and you will find me when you seek me with all of your heart. God's desire is to come close to you. He is relational. And prayer is just one of the tools in our belt to connect with Him. Prayer can also change things around us and can be a source of help in our lives. Prayer can help you through the anxieties and the stresses of life. And prayer can help you when your family goes through a rough time. Prayer can help you clarify ambiguous questions in your life. And prayer can bring power into your life. Your prayer life is supposed to be the most powerful practice you do. Let's not just believe in God. Let's experience God through prayer and invite Him into the details of our lives. This week, let's ask God to speak life like only He can.